Welcome to the Smart Building Center, an energy efficiency innovation space for the commercial, industrial, and institutional building operations industry. Our focus is where smart meets safety, comfort, and efficiency. And we offer state-of-the-art training and meeting spaces, educational programming, and a tool lending library with a wide spectrum of monitoring and diagnostic tools available to borrow for free. We also offer educational resources such as this training video. Today, we'll demonstrate performing a combustion analysis. And this procedure can be performed to look at the components of uh, the flue gases from a combustion-based appliance or equipment. In this case, we'll be looking at a natural gas-fired boiler at an elementary school. So, we're seeing, of course, an increased emphasis on decarbonization of equipment and buildings with the rising threat of, of global warming and climate change. And we still have a lot of existing combustion equipment. So it's all the more important to be running that equipment efficiently, as efficiently as possible. Not only to save energy and money, but also to prevent um, excessive toxic gases from exiting the combustion appliance into the atmosphere. So we can do that by ensuring as complete combustion as possible. And this is where combustion analysis comes in. We can take a look at the various components and determine the ratios, um, which tell us a lot about how completely the combustion is being um, processed. So the main components that we'll look at are CO or carbon monoxide, CO2, carbon dioxide, as well as O2, oxygen, and we'll also look at the stack temperature as a whole. So here I've got my combustion analyzer as well as the probe assembly. I've got the probe here at the end. This is a little stopper that's adjustable. I've got the handle, which is how I'll hold it to take the reading. Here I have a filter assembly, and then there's a hose coming directly off of the filter assembly. And the hose coming directly off of the filter assembly, that's my gas stack hose. And then the one right next to it is the draft hose. Then I've got this little yellow connector, that's my gas stack thermocouple connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that thermocouple connector in. There's two prongs, so they'll only fit a certain way. Go ahead and plug that in. Get that in tight. Next, I'm going to plug my draft connector in. This is going to go into the positive port of the pressure differential port. So I'm just going to push that on and with a little twist get it to the very end. And with the gas stack connector, same thing. I'm going to put that on the gas port, push it, and give it a little twist to get it fully inserted. OK? So then I'm just going to go ahead and power on the analyzer. And because we've got this set to auto zero for the carbon monoxide, we're going to go ahead and perform the warm-up procedure outside in fresh air. I'm going to go ahead and power it on. And it'll take about 60 seconds for that warm-up cycle. OK, and my warm-up cycle is complete. Then I'm going to go into the main menu, and there are default settings that should be fine for most applications but I do want to go in and make sure that I set the fuel. So I've got the fuel selected here. I'm going to press enter, and this is a natural gas boiler. So I'm just going to make sure it's at a natural gas, and it's ready to go ahead and take a reading. So I've got everything set up. I'm ready to go and go ahead and take the reading. So let's head on into the boiler room. So I've got it fitted on there. So I'm ready to take my reading. I've got the probe inserted here into the stack. 
and I always want to make sure that I've got my uh, water trap and filter assembly below the analyzer. I don't want any water um, condensation to get into the analyzer because it can damage the instrument. Um, I also want to make sure that my there's a little arrow on this filter assembly. I want to make sure the arrow is pointing up and that it's below the analyzer and it's also uh, in an upright position. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and start my test by pressing the run button. And that's going to go ahead and start taking some readings. Okay, now I've got my readings going. I'm going to zero in on this T stack readings. What I want to do is find the hottest area within the stack. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and set my analyzer here. I'm looking at my T-stack temperature reading. It's climbing a little bit. What I can do is undo this stopper screw and move the probe in and out until I find the hottest spot within the stack. So that looks like the hottest point in my stack from the readings I'm getting so far. So I'm going to retighten the screw. Now I'm ready to take that point in time reading. I'm going to go ahead and stop the test. I'm going to press this run slash hold button again. And that will stop the test. And then I can go ahead and save this data. I'm going to press the F3 button to save it. And it's going to go ahead and save it to an open memory location. Now. I can go ahead and pull the probe out. I want to, uh, I can just go ahead and pull it out here. I want to be careful not to touch the end of the probe for at least five minutes or so. Let it cool down. It's very hot. Um, the other thing I want to do is make sure and um, turn the uh, meter back on again until the um, oxygen percentage returns to 20.9%, which is the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. So we want to make sure that that returns um, so that we know that uh, the, the instrument is ready to um, turn off. We'll just let that run again for a few more minutes until that um, percentage returns to 20.9%. Now the other thing we'll want to do uh, when we're done with each test is to empty the water trap with any liquid and reassemble that. Now this particular instrument is capable of data logging as well. So you could use it to take multiple readings uh, from multiple pieces of equipment and then download that data to a laptop. Um, we won't get into detail about that here. For this point of time measurement, what I can do is go ahead and print out that data using our wireless printer that's included with the instrument. And then I have a written record of those readings that I can then do some analysis with. Okay, so now that I have my readings, I can go ahead and print it out using this handy little wireless printer that comes with the analyzer. Really easy to do. So I'm going to make sure and turn the printer on here on the side. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and there's a little window here at the very bottom of the printer. I'm going to go ahead and just line that up with the red window at the top of the analyzer. Pretty simple. Line it up. Press print. So now I have a handy reference on this printout of the data that I just took. So today we've demonstrated how to use a combustion analyzer to evaluate the efficiency of combustion for this natural gas condensing boiler. And the process is the same for other combustion appliances. We have a lot of other tools like this one available in our library to borrow for free. Please visit our website at smartbuildingscenter.org.